Hey everybody, how y'all doing? My name's Ed. Morning. Well, it's Thursday morning, about 9.30. Nice breeze blowing. Uh, I don't know, it's probably 50 something. But the uh, first thing on the agenda this morning was climb up this big tall ridge. I'm just about to the top. I'll uh, show you here in a second what, the, what it looks like. But yeah, I got my buff on, my ears and the back of my neck were getting sunburnt yesterday. Uh, my ears wasn't so bad, but I could feel it on the back of my neck. So I thought, well, I got this buff, I'll put it on. See uh, if that'll help that. Should. So, but yeah, it's a pretty morning. Birds are chirping. I didn't hear any deer or didn't hear any turkey. This morning or anything heard some guy up on the ridge top last night had a oh well, must have been an owl call it was pretty pretty bad owl call but uh, he was trying to get a turkey to gobble at him is what he was doing they call that a shock gobble but uh, i never heard an answer and he tried i'll bet he was an hour playing that thing trying to get a turkey to answer him so i don't know if he was here on the ridge this morning or not I haven't ran into anybody, but this is what we just came up. We're just about to the top. We got a little ways to go yet. I had to stop and catch my breath. We just came from that way down there. They at least have a switchback coming up here. But way down there somewhere is a creek, and that's close to where I camped last night. So I knew I had this big climb first thing, but maybe better first thing than the last. This is what I did yesterday. I saved a big climb for the start of the day, and I ended up had a big climb at the end of the day. So I don't know. That wasn't too good. But anyhow, so we're up and about moving. Well, made the top of the ridge, which I thought was the top. I mean, looking this way, kind of, kind of looks like it's the top. I don't know, there's kind of a path there. It's probably a campsite down at the end, up on top, but I don't know. There again, I'm not into extra miles. I don't have time. I gotta make it back to the truck sometime, so. But what I thought was the top, uh, you see that path, that's the trail, but that's actually going up. That's, uh, I'm not at the top. But I will be from the looks of the trail, because that's where it's going. So up the hill we go. Nice wide path. Uh, fun, here we go. Going up. I ain't gonna make this in one shot. Up we go. First wildlife of the morning. Oh, we're gonna make it. The old man's getting tired. Oh, looks like that's the top. And stop. Out of breath. But that's interesting listen to me breathe hard. Uh, yeah. so, well, we're gonna make the top. Uh, so we, have, we have summited the top of the ridge. Made the ascent. Woo, baby. Ah, it's top. You can see. Oh, I got some trees around this. 
Uh. Okay, we're gonna take a break. Well, this is the uh, first power lines we've come across. Let's see if we can see anything when we get out here. Just uh, more power lines, looks like. Yeah, goes off that way. Gets the trees all cleaned out. There's tower here. Great scenery, huh? Yes, it just goes off that way. Uh, no, not much to see other than just open trees. There's no trees there, obviously. But, yeah, we're kind of kind of up here, running this ridge. Now, there's the top of the trees down below in the ravine, so we're we're up a little ways. But man, it's amazing trees everywhere. I mean, it's not open spots to speak of. At least where we're at. So, alright, we'll go up the trail a little bit back into the trees. This is the first first time since Sunday when we started that we've actually had a section where there's no trees around us. We're out in the open. Everywhere else, there we've been in the trees. We've been in the woods. That's just hard to believe you can go 30 some miles and be in the trees in the woods the whole time looks like we're going downhill and back in the trees got a few pine trees here I don't know my trees that well but I'm sure there's a bunch of pin oak and there's some iron wood I noticed a few dogwood and a few rosebud redbud but uh, I don't know lots of maple they're, I'm guessing they're hard maple instead of soft maple I've seen some scaly bark hickory nuts it's just all kinds. But too, they grow so tall. I mean, the trunk goes a long ways up before you've got any branches because they're all so close together. So, makes for good timber wood, I'm assuming. And this is where the path's kind of making this little circle here. Going around the ridge. like we're headed north right at the moment. The sun's on our right. That would make that east. So. Yeah. Shot down over the hill. Pretty quiet except for the birds. I don't hear any traffic or anything like that. So we must not be close to any roads at the moment. Just a nice, leisurely stroll in the woods this morning. Hoping to see mile marker 38 or 39 at the end of the day today. We'll see how that goes. Uh, but I mean, if we don't make it, we don't make it. It's no big deal. It's just the goal that I put on myself to try to make. I don't absolutely have to. Look at that. That tree laid there so long it just disintegrated, rotted into nothing. 
Maybe he's gonna lay in there. Well. Well, looks like everybody got tired of walking in that little trench. So now we're gonna walk beside it. Yeah. There's what the other side looks like. Uh, you get the perspective there. That's actually going downhill pretty quick. Tell from the angle of the ground and the angle of the trees. And we're headed down. It's kind of gravelly. But surprisingly, it doesn't roll too much, so not too bad. Now I'd say we're headed west. Sure wouldn't do this without checking poles. Guy would never make it. He was he's pretty pretty lucky or pretty dumb to do it to start with. Back in the little ravine, like yeah, pretty nice. I'm glad it's a little cooler this morning, it makes it a little better for walking. Get too hot otherwise. Let's see, all I got is my pants and t-shirt on these pants are really light i kind of like them for what we're doing monday when it rained they got a little wet but they dried right out i mean they weren't cold or nothing so i think that was a good choice so, still going downhill a little bit we're about to flatten out here for a second Yeah, going around, back to going down. Sorry, you guys probably seen enough of this section. Well, just to show you how easy it is to get screwed up, we just came down that path right here. And if you look, the path goes there, goes that way. And there's even blaze right there. But I didn't go far. I don't know if you can see it on this tree, but it's blue. And then there's another one on up there that's blue right on that path. And in the background there, I don't know if you can see it, there's a lake. Let's see if I can zoom in. Now there's a blue blaze on that tree. Another blue blaze on that one. And it's a lake. So that's a side trail that evidently goes to the lake. But... Right there is our double blaze, which means the trail turns. Well, we just came down. The blue one here is going to the right. But what I didn't notice is all of these leaves from this little ravine here have come down here and just piled up and made a big mess of leaves. Well, if you notice on that tree there, it says KT and it's got a blaze there. So the trail actually goes to the left. And I started that way till I noticed the blue one on the second blue one up there. And it's like, shoot, I'm going the wrong way. So here I am. I got her back on the trail. We're headed away from the lake at the moment. But I think the trail kind of goes in and out around this lake if it's the one I think it is. 
Well, I don't know if you can see it, but that's better views of the lake that we're starting to go around now. It goes around and goes up that way. I assume you can see the blue. But uh, there again, I'll have to look up what the name of it is, but I think we just kind of bypassed the one side. But I think there's a trailhead up here. So I'm kind of wondering, probably in the weekends the trail's busy here. But might be somebody, I don't know. We shall see. We're kind of just walking along. I think it's probably been a road at one time or another. Somebody plowed out. Kind of flat. It just goes along the shore here. Up. Down tree. Uh, watch where I'm going. Yeah. Wait, uh, you can see over there, there's a building across the other side of the lake there. You probably can't see it. There's somebody fishing. Hey, I finally saw somebody. Out in the boat. Kind of makes a big U shape right here that I can see. The trail keeps it going. Call that when you get in the spider wells, spider webs, silk blazing. I guess I'm silk blazing this morning. That fell a couple on my arm. That looks like we're going down a little closer to the water. Oh, there's somebody else in the boat. Tell him to smile, he's on camera. Evidently it's all just electric motors. It's a pretty small lake really. I can't tell what he's got. Looks like just a casting pole. Must know where he's going though. So alright, enough of him. So shoot, yeah, there's a couple boats out here. Uh, there's that building over there. You can see it. Must be a boat ramp here somewhere. All right. Well, AT's got nothing on the KT. Looks like we got ferry houses too. How about that? Huh. So we got, just came up a pretty steep ascent. And now we uh, get to walk this top of this ridge a little bit so maybe I can catch my breath. So, I'm thinking the next mile marker, I'm gonna stop and have me a little bit of lunch. I don't know what time it is, but I'm in need of a break after that all time and things just wear me out it slows you down it takes forever to get up in things but this is what it looks like on top yeah kind of looks the same as all the rest of it but yeah I just can't get over you know sky's blue today it's pretty Okay, we're still walking this trail. Uh, 
Okay. Topped that last ridge and followed it up and we end up in this little pull-off area on this gravel road. See the trail goes down across the road. It's kind of a pretty little area. You got a nice barn there. And then the house up the road. So pretty little area, all nice and green. No idea where the road comes from or where it goes. Just an old gravel road. We thought to seen this cement block here. Thought that was a good place to stop and have a bite. So I just got done eating a chicken wrap. So it's time to give mother a buzz real quick. See if I got a signal. Should have. We're up here high. And uh, let her know how things are going. We're working on the third big climb today that's looking back down the trail uh, we're over by the power lines again further down but still by the power lines that's what we've gotten so far and that's up that's what the surrounding trees look like that's what we got to go up yet and we're getting there so we uh, keep going. We kind of came out at the power line. There's what it looks like looking down the clearing for the lines. Uh, it's hot out here in the sun. Trail's gonna take us down. I can hear somebody mowing off in the distance. So this is headed back down. Okay. Well, we had a big climb to get up to the power line. And sure enough, that went right back down. There's the ridge up there. We just came down that hill. Went across that little creek down there. Now we're coming up here on the path this way. And it goes up, it goes around. But I'm sure we're headed up there, which is a long way up. So that'll be the fourth big climb today. It's no wonder I'm not making any miles. So, we're still going. Well, I was wrong. That went up to that little rise, and then it went right back down again. We're gonna go back down across this dry creek. There's no water in this one. And I don't know if you can see the trail, but it goes past that big tree, kind of winds around. And then there's some water boards going up that ridge. And that one looks higher yet. And that's a long way up there. But I'm guessing that's where we're headed. They had to wait and pick a higher one. So, just me complaining, I guess. But here we go. We'll be a while getting up there. Well, we got another mile marker coming up. So, I'll show you this one. Uh, fairly wide little path to walk on right at the moment. There's our mile marker. Uh, smile marker.
for 37. That means we got uh, truck is 10 miles away. So by golly, we're getting there. So we still want to go another mile or two tonight yet. And then hopefully, good Lord willing, we'll finish that up tomorrow. Be back at the truck in the evening. So we'll see how it goes. I see it's gotten overcast a little bit. Sun's not shining like it was. Uh, I'm hoping that doesn't mean rain tonight or tomorrow. But we'll get what we get, I guess. So I guess it's on to mile marker 38. Like I said, little nice little wide path right at the moment. We're staying somewhat level. Those up and downs are killers. That's been today, just up one steep hill, make the top, and right back down to the bottom, and going back up another one. I don't know how many hills we climbed today. All right. This is nice right at the moment, so. Looks like we're going Go down a little ways, but not terribly so. I had a guy come up behind me a while ago. He was hiking. Didn't hear him coming, having a radio playing. He uh, said he... Uh, Left out Tuesday from Dean Lake, which is where I left out after three Sunday. So he's booking a little faster than me. I mean, once he passed me, I've not seen him since. So. Said he had some kind of schedule. He was hurrying. So. I don't know. But it shows up just how slow I am. Like I say, he started a day and a half after I did. They caught up with me in two days. So, but I told him I was older than he was too, so. I'd say just up and down a little bit on this ridge. Nothing too bad. I'd say we're looking for 38, but that's gonna be a little while. I always hate it. I, get close to the, where I want to go but I still want to go further and I come across all these spots that wouldn't be bad to set a tent up but I'm just not ready to stop I guess I shouldn't be so picky yeah, for the moment I'm glad we're staying up here high well, I got a feeling that'll change it always does. Alright, well, it looks like we might be going down, so. Looks like it might start heading down. Looks like. I see a water board up there. So, I'll take you on up to there. And then I'll have to shut you off so I can negotiate the hill. I don't know if you can get the angle of the trees and the trail there. Get an idea of what it looks like. It looks steep to me. Okay, I'm going to stop at this tree and put you away. If you look, it's going down and there's trail. Down there, I see something white down there. I don't know what that is. So, alright. Well, it's a little different terrain right here. We're back down off the top. We're back down in the lower ground. A lot of these little trees growing up. We're still looking for that 38 mile marker. 
I haven't found it yet. And we're hopeful. Sound like a mini jungle down here. Creek crossing going up. And go and slip in the mud. Oops. Trail goes that way. Huh. Cross it and come back. Uh, yeah. Quiet down here, not much breeze. When you're down below, there's usually a nice breeze when you're up top. Looks like there's a deer running along here. Don't know when, but he was running. Climbing up down these hills, I don't see how I can have any feet around. Oh boy, here we go. I'm going back up a little. Up to the top we go. <laughs> Getting there. Probably just in time to go back down the other way. A little muddy patch here to get across. Yeah, it's like oh boy, you don't go back down. Okay. Well, it's about six o'clock. We came down this little hill, and it looked fairly flat out in here. Then the trail goes back up, so I had enough. So we just cleared off a spot for the tent right beside the trail. The trail's right there. And uh, so we're cooking some ramen noodles, chicken flavored tonight. Let's see how that goes. We haven't tried that. So we got it on the little burner. It's cooking. I don't know. Said something about three minutes, but we aren't boiling yet, so that's two cups of water. I've got my food bag, water, trash bag, my lighter. So we're gonna have some ramen noodles and we're gonna put a little powdered potatoes in there, have mashed potatoes and noodles together. And I probably might, don't know, eat a wrap too, just to get rid of some weight uh, there's this bag that I got got to get it unpacked and in the tent because I normally put everything in the tent with me except for the food and I put it outside on a limb I hang it so but yeah we figured we better get something in it because I'm tired tonight all these ups and downs today I actually ran into another guy uh, right at the end of the day, I stopped and was getting some water. He come walking up. And he, uh, kind of interesting guy. He was headed, same place I'm headed. 
but obviously he's walking faster than I am, so he went on ahead. I don't know if he was going to finish tonight. If he does, he'll be in the dark, but uh, I know I'm not. That's been pretty much my adventure today. It's still overcast. I'm hoping it doesn't rain tonight or tomorrow. Uh, I mean, if it rains hard, I might be in trouble, but it'll have to rain awful hard. Uh, let's hope it doesn't rain that hard. I can tell from the leaves, it looks like it shoots down through over there. So let's hope it stays over there. So anyway, that's what's going on at the moment.